Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode from WholesingersFlyShop.com. Today I'm bringing you a nymph pattern. This is a Spencer Higgins SOS pattern. He's a guide and angler out in Utah, and the pattern's traveled the whole way across the country, and it's caught fish the whole way across the country. It's a great pattern, and one of the reasons is, is because it has a great imitative silhouette of a mayfly. Um, probably probably one of the best silhouettes out there for a mayfly imitation. And uh, that also, like always, you know, tied in different colors. I'm tying it in black, that's the one you see it the most often in, but definitely tied in some browns, maybe some yellows. Different colors try to match the hatch. Uh, I would go with browns more than anything. You know, the more natural color you, that you see if you lift up the rock. Um, but black, the one reason why I'm tying it in black is, and for having it in my box is muddy water fly. Anytime the water gets stained, I go black and uh, tend to catch more fish. The black will show up better in stained water. So um, tie these in black for sure. And uh, I'm going to just give a little disclaimer here. I, I'll say it too in a video when I'm tying it. I'm tying this in a size 12 on the video. I'm fishing it in a size 16. So when I'm going through the video here, I'm going to call it out as a size 16 and give you all the material list as a size 16. But for video quality, I'm going to tie it on a size 12. Fish it that big. Of course, you can fish it on a size 12. Um, what happens for me personally, I'll start out big at the beginning of the season. Season comes in right around April 1st for us here in Pennsylvania. For the month of April, I'm going to fish this in 12s, 14s. The month of May and on, it's going to be 16s and 18s. And so most of the most of the year, I'm fishing this in 16s and 18s. So I'm going to tie it in a 16 and 18. And that's what I would suggest for you too. But, uh, you know, stock trout, when they're first put in there, they're going to eat the bigger ones. They're not going to be as concerned with size as when they're in the stream seeing the small ones all the time. So that's when it's a lot more important to... Um, you know, match your hatch and go small. Go down to the size 16. You're going to catch more fish or even 18s. But uh, anyways, guys, really cool pattern. Uh, great imitative mayfly pattern and uh, it'll catch your fish. Here you're going to see a picture of it, then the material list to tie it. Okay, there you see the fly, really easy. Let's get into tying it. All right, for a hook, I'm using the Daiichi 1120. And uh, I'm tying this on a, tying it on a size 12 for video quality, but I'm gonna tell you that I'm tying it as, as a size 16 because that's how I normally fish it. So let's say this is a Daiichi 1120 size 16. To match that, I'm going to use a tungsten bead. This is nickel 2.4 millimeter. 2.4, 2.5, whatever you got there. For thread, I'm using 70 denier black thread. And I'm just going to start that on behind the bead and wrap it back towards the bend. And the next thing we're going to put on is some pheasant tail fibers for a tail. Uh, I'm using black here. You can use natural if that's all you got. You don't have to have a black tail. It just matches the body nice. So we're just going to take a clump of about five or six pheasant tail fibers here. I'm going to lay them on top of that hook shank and wrap them down. And then I'm going to adjust it to get it to where I want the length to, the length to be. Sorry. And I want to shorten that up some. So we're just going to pull them in. Once I get them where I like them, then I'm going to make some tighter wraps and wrap it back up there towards that bead. So we'll just pull them off. And then I'm going to use some small silver wire. And this is going to be the ribbing on the fly. So I like to tie it on the side. You can tie it on the top or bottom side, whatever you like there. That's not really important. What is important, though, is that you cover up the wire with your thread wraps. So you don't want any of that wire shining through. As you can see there, I tied it down on this side of the hook. You can't see the wire shining through. So that's the main goal. And I don't want to build up with this. I want to keep a nice thin body with my thread. That's one of the reasons why I'm using 70 denier. 
Now we're going to wrap this forward. I'm just going to make a nice even segmented wrap here. Oops. I've been using this piece for a while. I got it short and I got it a little weak there and one of the pieces snapped. So get that segmented and up there behind that bead and we're going to wrap it off. And then just pull off the excess. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to put on is the wing case for this. For the wing case, I am using the original pattern. They use red and um, it's hollow tinsel in red. I don't have red, so I'm using copper. You know what I always say in my videos, use what you have. Copper's pretty close. Fish aren't going to care or be able to tell the difference. So I'm going to start it right on the back there and wrap it back about a third of the way. And you notice here I left a big tag. Now one of the things of tying it on a size 12, say I'm tying this as a size 12 like I am in the video, I'm going to take and I'm going to bend this back so I have two pieces of tinsel going back. If I was tying it on the 16 that I fish, I would just tie one piece. I would just have one piece going over the back and uh, that's going to make my wing case here. This allows me to make just a little bit wider wing case when I'm done for this size 12 so it looks better and more proportionate. Next thing I'm going to put on is some SLF Prism. This is black. Use any really dark color. And I, wanna, I don't want to use much here. I want to make a nice really thin noodle and then we're just going to wrap this on. I don't want it to be too thick. That's pretty good right there. I like that. Last thing we're going to add is some legs. For the legs, I'm just using some black crystal flash. And I got about four strands over here. Use three or four strands. And then I like to pinch it on the side closest to me and wrap it right in there behind that bead. Make about three wraps with it. And then I'll bring it over the top and I'll wrap it right in behind that bead on the other side. And just get them all pulled so they're all together. Coming out at the same spot there, I like that. If you need to, you can add just a little bit, another little pinch of dubbing behind there, but I don't think I do. Now I'm gonna take these two strands of hollow tinsel, pull it up over the back, and I'm gonna wrap that in right behind that bead. And I'm only gonna make about three wraps there. I'm trying to keep everything thin, minimal wraps here. And then I'm just gonna make about a three or four turn whip finish, and that's it. I don't want a big collar there, and I don't want to detract from my dubbing underneath it. Now we're going to make our wing case. For a wing case, I'm using some Solares. This is a uh, medium viscosity. That's my favorite for wing cases is medium viscosity. I'm just going to cover up that uh, copper hollow, hollow tinsel. Hit it with a light, get it hard there. And then we're going to come in and trim off our legs and we're done. So for my legs, I want to go halfway back the body-ish. Trim them off the match on both sides, and there you got it. Just a perfect little mayfly imitation and a perfect silhouette. As you look down on the top of that, it's got the perfect silhouette of a mayfly. All right, guys, hope you like that pattern. Very simple, um, you know, not hard to tie at all. A lot of materials, you probably all the materials you already have. So. Um, mess around with the colors, like I always say, and uh, like I also always say, use what you have. I didn't have any red hollow tinsel. Use copper if that's what you have. Use a different color. Use green. Anything to catch the fish's eye. Um, it doesn't have to be what the pattern calls for. That's the biggest thing I almost always stress in my videos. Uh, you know, the fish don't care. Fish don't care if it's green, yellow, purple. They they just catch in their eyes and they see the imitative uh, silhouette of that fly and that's what they're triggering on. So it looks like something that they're, they should be eating right now. So 
Have fun tying, guys. You need any of the materials, like always, you know where to find them at wholesingersflyshop.com. And uh, if you want me to tie any of these for you or have any questions you would like to reach out to me personally, you can reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. So I, that email goes right directly to me, and uh, I'll be happy to get right back to you. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until you see another video from me next week, I'm Sean Holsinger.